welcome our online viewers wherever you are at home at your offices please join us today during our midweek this week it's adventure week we are focusing on and as we pray our theme is today is joy feed life and we shall be reading from the book of psalms chapter 16 and verse 11 <clears throat> before we get into our text let us bow down our head and pray we thank you our gracious master for this opportunity you've given us once again to come at your altar you are a loving god you are a caring god despite whatever is happening around us and in the world we still trust in you and we still trust in your good care be with us and may you lift us above the pressures of this world and may you strengthen our hope in you because we trust in you and we trust in your good care and we are waiting for your soon return to take us home this is my humble prayer in the name of our lord jesus christ amen friends from the book of philippians chapter 4 Verse 4, Paul tells us this, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Paul tells us that we rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice always. That is joy that never ceases. Always. Whatever the circumstances you are going through, rejoice. But friends, when you see what's happening in their life today, maybe what's happening to you as a person, maybe what's happening to your family, maybe what's happening to the, in the society, the community where you come from, what's happening in the country, whatever is, what is happening in the whole world, do you find any reason to rejoice in the Lord always? Do you find any reason to trust in these words? These beautiful words by Paul that always rejoice in the Lord. We are in the time when things are becoming so difficult, when you see the voice around, when they see the sick, when they see strange diseases, when they see the, the orphans, when you see the persecutions, and when you see the many people who are angry, the many people who sleep penniless, and you might ask yourself, do God still care for his people, whom he created? You might ask yourself that question. And there's some people, we call them the deist, who say that God created this world, this beautiful world. He created me and you, but he left it. He abandoned it. They imply that God don't, doesn't care at all. He doesn't care for you and me. He doesn't care of whatever is happening in the world today. But I can tell you today that you can still trust in this beautiful word that God cares for us, God cares for me, God cares for you. And you can find peace and joy in the Lord. When I talk of joy, I'm not talking about happiness or just a feeling that is affected by your condition or by the circumstance around you. It is something, the peace that you find that is not affected by your circumstance. Whatever is happening around does not interfere with that joy. When you are sick, when you go hungry, when you face difficulties, you still find time and opportunity to thank God and have joy in the Lord. In the book of Psalms, chapter 16, and the verse is 11. David writes these beautiful psalms. He says this, You will, you, that is God, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. That God will show me and you the path of life. And in the, his presence, the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. I still ask this question once again. Do you find joy in the Lord? Do you find joy in the Lord? 
that God has given us the path through the word. When you read the, the scripture, we find the path of life, the path of righteousness, and that leads us to the presence of God where we find joy. Friends, which path are you treading on? Are you treading on the path of life which leads to the presence of God and the, where joy abounds? In your daily life, whatever is happening, do you find, do you tread in the path of life and find joy in the presence of God? When I read, uh, when I read this verse again, it tells me this, that joy is a gift that comes from God. It is a gift that comes from God. It does not come from whatever the circumstance that we face. It does not come out of our material possession. It does not come out of our condition. For this will change. Today I might have, tomorrow I might not have. Today I might be sick, tomorrow I might be well. Today I might be in a different condition. This will keep on changing, will keep on changing. But the joy should remain constant. It is not being affected by the condition that you go through. Friends, I want to tell you that in this life, you will tread in a shaky ground, up and down. You will face so many ups and downs, but that should not affect the joy that you have in the Lord. And it comes from God. It is a gift from God. It is the response, your response, or my response, to knowing that God still loves me, that God still cares for me. When I look at this text again, I see that this joy comes when I choose to experience the eternal God when I choose to submit myself to God, when I choose to trust in His promises, when I choose to believe in His promises, and when I choose to tread in the path of life, then I shall be in the presence of God where joy abounds. Friends, I will tell you this. You can be in different situations. Different circumstances, difficult situations, but this does not affect the joy that you have in God. And that's why Paul, you know, David says again in verse 10, he says this, verse 10 of the same chapter, that for you will not leave my soul in soul. David is saying that that God will not leave him, even in the time of death. Even when I face death, I should experience this joy because I know that God is still with me. And this is more difficult because when it comes to death, we will be accusing God. Many of us do. They say, Mungu mechukua. But even in the time of death, still, we can find joy in God because His wisdom it's beyond our understanding. When I look at this text, verse 11, friend, I see this. In verse 10, I see that David is saying this. He has passed all through this in life. He has seen difficult situations. I want you to look at David. Consider from the time when he was just a little boy, a shepherd, looking up after animals, growing and becoming a king. He has seen it all. He has passed through different, different aspects of life. And when he says that he still finds joy in the presence of God, he means these words mean a lot to him because he talks from experience. <clears throat> Friends, I want to conclude by saying this. God has revealed to us the path of life, the path of righteousness. And when you go through the scripture, we understand the word of God teaches us clearly the path of life. And when we choose to tread on the path of life, joy abounds in us because we are in the presence of life. My prayer today is to plead with you, choose the path of life. 
choose the path of preciousness. Clean in the path of life where there is the presence of God. Find yourself in the presence of God and there will be joy all through. In heaven, angels are all singing joy. There is all joy in heaven. Let us make our life today, here on earth, a little heaven. Let us bring the heavens down from, let us bring heaven down to here on earth. God has given us the way. Let us choose to walk the, in the path of life and let us exercise joy because we know the ultimate end. And that is the good thing about it. When you go through this, when you pass all through this, we know the good thing is that God has given to us that information. We know the end and that is enough to give us joy. And may our good God bless you all. Amen. As we finish, let us bow down for a word of prayer. Our loving God, Master, we thank you once again and we come before you in humility seeking to be in your presence seeking to continue trading in the path of life where your presence is and where joy abounds that whatever might be happening in our life might not shake us but let strengthen our hope and our faith in you keep us safe provide for us take good care of us in our families our children our relatives our fellow mem church members our believers Jesus, we ask you, take good care of us and keep us safe till you come again. For we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.